Hi, I'm Eric Blevins with HyperMX. Uh, we're excited to be here at Pocket Gamer Connects London 2022, and I'm joined by Patty from Yahaha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for being here. Uh, why don't you just tell me what is Yahaha, and um, you're Director of Developer Relations? Yes. Yeah, what's your role there? in general. Uh, we're focusing on games first because the team is so super passionate about games, but the idea is to open to multiverses, fashion, music, we're working with education, so, and it's all for adults as well, like we're very adult focused, mm -hmm. and we're hoping that we can create a lot of great opportunities and, and just democratize creation in general. That's awesome. Yeah, and you mentioned your your founders, the co-founders. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about who's who's behind Yahaha? Uh, the co-founders were directors at Unity, uh, both in Finland and in Shanghai, and uh, they worked on Unity for a very long time. We're still partners with Unity, but they had this great idea on how to bring things further, like and key value for people that can't necessarily use Unity. So they, they created it. It's Bombay Sam in Finland and Chris in, in uh, Central I will say his <laughs> name wrong. <laughs> and Chris Wu in, in Shanghai. And so. is, the, is the company based in Finland? or? Yes, okay. we, we have offices in Finland and we have the R&D team in Shanghai. And then I am in Sweden. We have a team in, in Korea. We're Quite international already. Right, very global, as are a lot of companies now. Um, it's a necessity nowadays. Now, like with music, you can't create products locally anymore. Everything is worldwide immediately. Yeah. So it makes sense to have teams in different places. And speaking of uh, worldwide, I think the, the metaverse that you mentioned is it's a big buzzword thanks to Meta. Can you talk a little bit about why? What is the metaverse, or what do you and Yahaha envision the metaverse being? I see metaverse a little bit like parallel dimension, mm -hmm. like we play in science fiction, where people can create layers of content and layers of interactivity based on what are their needs. So if you have people creating full architecture plans in, in the metaverse, and you will have people doing the whole socialization. So nowadays it's so common for people to live far from their families, so the metaverse will be a place for them to connect. It goes beyond just the video. You can really connect to new things. Um, and I think when technology grows, it's going to just go further and further. Traditionally, game developers made games, and then users played them, and that was it. You know, that was the cycle. Whereas now, it's almost as if with Yahaha, you've essentially just built you're building a platform for the users to make the world and to build the world or the game per se. Um, why do you think that's so important to users now? Like, what's changed to where user generated content and these elements are so much more prevalent? Uh, players have been creating for a very long time, and the technology really so much that they have their own ideas, and they want to much short movies, but they have full productions, who would imagine that they could go that far? So the imagination is very similar to that. Um, well, I think the pandemic showed that a lot of people need to be more creative to deal with their own mental health as well. Like it's fragmented is really important, identity is really important. So I think it would be useful for people to redefine ways of expression and put their identity Yeah. 
I agree. I mean, I think you touched on a number of kind of amazing things. I hadn't even considered really the, the mental health benefit and aspect to that, but you're right. I mean, I think we all had to learn new coping mechanisms during the pandemic, and a lot of those will remain because they are effective. Um, and it sounds like Yaha is essentially created this platform that users can can easily use, correct? Like it's no code. It's you, you mentioned is it is it built in collaboration with Unity or? Okay. I see. Mm -hmm. because it's super complicated to go from fully coded to everything no code drag and drop but that's our aim is to make it as simple as possible for everybody and in, in in terms of features what what sets you apart or what's different from say a roblox for example where there are these digital worlds um what is it that you really want to hone in on make, making it different So there's a social component, like a social aspect to, I mean, obviously the metaverse or these digital worlds, of course there's a social component, but even at the beginning when you're building, there's a social element. Yeah, the social element, I think, is the, the central focus of everything for us. More, more than anything, it is the social concept as well. Like I said, the, the pandemic shows us everything and that we need this way of being connected to people and also to other people. And nothing is better than meeting people that like the same things and like creating the same things. You already start with a deeper understanding and connection on each other when you can see what people can create. Right, definitely. Well, I, this is extremely exciting. And I think I read that you, Yaha, raised around $50 million in funding. So what does that mean in terms of the phase you're in? Like, when, when will this be available? When can users expect to start hopping on board? Oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. We're going to go in alpha in March, so we're going to have our first alpha ready. We are like just like getting the pieces together in the store to just be the first to, to test the platform. So for us now, the super point is to complete the team and to make sure that everything we are building is fitting with what the team very cool. Well, um, Patty, I really appreciate you dropping by and joining us. Um, give me the heads up when the alpha is ready. Oh, I'm going to edit it. Please do. Right. Please do. <laughs> but no, it was great talking with you. Great. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you for filming. Absolutely. Enjoy the rest of the show.